Hello everyone, welcome to grade 11 electromagnetism. It's quite a nice chapter, it's all about how you can use magnets to produce electricity, but it gets quite technical, so stick with me, you might have to watch some of these videos more than once. It can get a bit technical as I said, but let's see how it goes. The first important thing that we need to understand is when you have electricity flowing, so let's say we have a piece of wire and we've got electricity flowing in that wire and let's say that it's flowing in this direction like that. That electricity has the ability to create its own magnetic field. So if you had to go take a piece of wire and pump electricity through it, if you had to put a compass well, that's not a very nice compass, but if you had to put a compass in that area, you would actually see the needle would move slightly. This is because electricity that flows can produce its own magnetic field. So the reason is, by the way, this is just out of, uh, you don't have to know this for the exams, this is just so that you understand why it does this. Uh, electricity is actually electrons that are flowing. Now, these electrons are spinning, and for some reason they spin in the same direction. And so because they're spinning in the same direction, they produce this magnetic field around the wire. And so this whole area is going to be a magnetic field. And so if you had to put a magnet or a compass in this area, that, that compass, the needle, would move. So this is pretty cool. Now, what we're going to look at next is how can we work out the direction in which the magnetic field will go. And so I want you to remember the right hand rule, okay? So the way that it works is if you want to know the direction of the magnetic field, you need to know the direction of the electricity first. So let's look at this example over here first. And I want you to try this at home, actually. If you had to take up your pen and place it in your right hand like this, then what I want you to do is close your fingers, okay? So wrap them around. Have a look carefully. Oh, and your thumb, by the way, must be pointing in the direction of the electricity. So if you do it the way that they're doing it in the photo, you can see how your fingers are curling. The way that your fingers are curling shows the direction of the magnetic field. And so the magnetic field is going to go around like that and like that. And so I hope that that makes sense so far. Here's another example. So pretend that this is your pen once again, this part over here, and your thumb, your right hand thumb, points in the direction of the electricity. Your fingers, so your four other fingers over here, they are curling in the direction of the magnetic field. So this magnetic field would go over here, it would go around like that, okay? And so they've shown it quite nicely over here. That is what your the magnetic field would do. Now what I want you to do is pretend that this red dot is electricity that is flowing towards you. So what I want you to do is take your pen in your right hand and point, let, let your pen or let your thumb point towards you. So your thumb must be pointing towards you. And have a look at your fingers. Have a look how they are curling. Are they curling like this? Or are they rather curling like this? So clockwise or are your fingers going anti-clockwise? If you did this correctly, you should have your fingers going anti-clockwise. If you're struggling to do this, you're, you should have done it something like this. And so we can see this would be, this would be your pen over here, and you would have your right hand thumb pointing out of the screen, so that would be pointing towards you, and your fingers would be curling anti-clockwise. And then lastly, if I show you an X, what that means in science is that the electricity is flowing into the page. So what I want you to do is take your pen once again, hold it in your right hand with your thumb pointing towards your computer screen or towards your phone or whatever you're using. 
Now have a look at your fingers. Are they doing this or are they rather doing that? If you did this one correctly, you should get the top one. They should be flowing clockwise. Now what we're going to do is have a look at a loop of wire. And so all you're going to use is the right hand rule once again. So let's say we have electricity flowing in this loop of wire and it's going in this direction. So in an anti-clockwise direction. So what you could do to work out how the magnetic field would look is you could take random spots and just hold the loop in your right hand and your thumb must always point in the direction of the current. So for example, if you hold this piece of loop up here, then it would look something like this. Please pause the video and try this. So this loop would run through your fingers like that and your your thumb of your right finger would be pointing to the left over here because our, our current is moving like that. Now have a look at your four fingers. This is very important. Have a look if, if this is the piece of wire underneath the wire what is the what are your fingers doing are they coming out of the page or are they going into the page well well done if you said that they're coming out of the page so I'll show it as a little dot like that and then up here at the top your fingers would be going into the page and so I'm going to show that with X's now I'm going to look at this one over here so you would take the loop in your right hand it's a bit awkward to try and imagine yourself doing that. And so this part here is the loop going through here. And so have a look on this side of the loop. Okay, so let me just make that a little bit darker. We can see that on this side of the loop, the your fingers would be coming out of the page. And so I'm going to show that with little dots coming towards us. And then once these fingers have looped over the wire again on this side, they would be going into the page. And so that would look like that. Then at the bottom over here, we can, can see how we're holding the loop like this. So we can see that, and so, so this represents this part here. And so over here, which is on the inside of the loop, we can see your fingers would be coming out of the page. And so those are gonna be little dots like that. And then at the bottom over here, your fingers would curl back into the page. And so that would be X's. And then for the last one over here, let me just draw the loop. And so that represents this part over here. And so what we can see is that on this part of the loop, your fingers are coming out of the page. So like that. And then on this side, your fingers would be wrapping back into the page. And so that would be like that. If you're a little confused right now, that's absolutely normal. I know I would be confused if I was only hearing this for the first time. So please rewind the video, watch it a little bit more. There are many times when I've been studying where I don't understand something the first time, and that's not a really nice feeling. But what you don't want to do is just keep moving forward because you're going to feel really uncomfortable. What you want to do is stop the video and rewind and keep watching it and take an exam pad and just make some rough notes for yourself. It will start to make sense, I promise you, and that is the best feeling ever. And so what we can see is that if you hold a piece of wire like this, where the electricity is flowing this way, the magnetic field that gets produced on the inside, can you see all of these dots? They're all gonna be coming towards us. Okay, so it would come towards us. And now we're gonna see what happens if you had to hold, the, if the current had to go the other way. Okay, so now if you look at these thumbs, we can see that the current is now flowing in a clockwise direction like that. So let's start at the top. If you had to take your right hand and hold the loop like we can see in this picture over here with your thumb pointing to the right, look at how your fingers are curling. So over here, which is above the loop, your fingers are coming towards us. So that's going to be three little dots like that, for example, or four dots, doesn't really matter. And then your fingers would curl all the way around. And so down here, they would be going into the page. And so that would look like that. Then over here, we can see that the electricity is flowing downwards over here. And so we can hold our hand like they've got it there. And so let me quickly draw the loop in. 
And so what we can see on this side, your fingers would be coming out of the page. And so it looks like that. And then on this side, your fingers would be looping back into the page. And so that would go into the page like that. Then down at the bottom, the electricity is flowing to the left like that. So you can see how the fingers pointing like that. Let me just quickly draw this loop in. You should really try this with your pen. It does work. And so what we can see on this side over here, your fingers are coming out of the page. And then over here on, on that side of the loop, on the inside of the loop, they are going into the page. And so that would be X's. Then for the last one over here, we can see the electricity is going this way. So let me quickly draw this loop in nicely. And so what we can see on this side, we can see the fingers are coming out of the page. And then on this side of the loop, we can see that your fingers are going into the page. And so we can see that when you've got electricity flowing through a loop in a clockwise direction, the magnetic field would go into the page because of all these X's. Okay, we're not really interested on the outside. We want to know what's happening on the inside. And the last thing we want to talk about in this lesson is a solenoid. Now a solenoid is pretty much a loop like we just looked at, but there's a whole lot of them. See that? Now there's many different ways to analyze these solenoids. If you really understand the right hand rule nicely, you could do this yourself and you would see exactly how it works. But I find a lot of students do struggle, so I'm just going to give you a few simple little tricks on what to do with a solenoid. So what you do with a solenoid is you, I'm going to look at this example here first. Let me zoom that in a bit. Take your right hand and hold the solenoid and your fingers must curl in the direction of the current. So you can see they're showing us the current here with these arrows. And so your fingers must also be going in the direction of those arrows. You see, so your fingers are pointing in the same direction. If you are doing that with your right hand, then your thumb will automatically point towards north. Okay, that's very important to know for a solenoid. Your thumb points north. We don't really look at north and south when we're looking at when we were looking at loops and things like that. But in a solenoid, it becomes quite important to use north and south. Something else that's very important is that inside a solenoid, so on the inside, the magnetism goes from south to north. And then on the outside, it wraps around from north to south. Okay, that's quite important to know as well. So if we look at this solenoid here on the right, you can try this at home. You pretend that you're holding, so you could even just take your pen if you wanted to, and you could place your, you could place your pen like this, and then you could just uh, make sure that your fingers curl in the same direction as the current, which is these arrows. Then your right hand thumb would point in the direction of north. If you've done this correctly, your thumb should be pointing to the right. Okay, that means that this is north, this is south, and so the magnetic field goes from south to north on the inside and then wraps around on the outside. Okay, there's a lot more detail that we could go into, but it's not necessary right now. Okay, so just make sure that you use your right hand and make sure that your fingers point in the direction of the current. If you do that, then your thumb is pointing north. Here's another one. So try this one at home. Take your uh, right hand and try pretend that this is a pen. And so you try hold this solenoid in your right hand and your fingers must point in the direction of the current. So your fingers need to point upwards. If you've done this correctly, your, your thumb should be pointing to the left. And so that means that that is north. The other side is south. And so the magnetic field goes from south to north. And then on the outside, it goes from north to south. All right, guys. So that's it for this lesson. We've done a whole lot of the right hand rule. Thanks for watching.